सकते हो कि आप लोग आप लोग ऑलमोस्ट सबको ही जितने भी लोग हैं एस सी ओ वगैरह यू नो दट एस सी ओ वगैरह आप लोग ऑलरेडी जानते हो अपने बिजनेस के लिए यूज करते हो लेकिन उसको आप थोड़ा सा स्ट्रेटेजिक तरीके से कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं आज हमें हर्षित बताएंगे हर्षित है ये है डायरेक्टर बिजनेस अलायंस के हैं जो बहुत ही बेहतरीन दो सैस का टूल है बहुत ही ब्रिलियंट सैस का टूल है जिसको मैं भी अभी यूज कर रहा हूँ एक है रैंक वॉच जो थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री ए आई पावर्ड एस टूल है और एक और है जिसका नाम है वेब सिग्नल जिसमें हम सोशल मीडिया लिस्टिंग कर सकते हैं ब्रांड मेंशन मॉनिटर वगैरह कर सकते हैं काफी अच्छा करता है राइट तो इन दोनों के ये डायरेक्टर ऑफ बिजनेस अलायसेज है आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग हिज यू नो द एम बी एट मार्केटिंग किलोस्कर इंस्टीट्यूट इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन हर्षित जो है अपना जो काम करना स्टार्ट किया बहुत सारे एजेंसी के साथ में काम करना चालू किए हैं फिर उसके बाद बहुत सारे All size of businesses को across the globe में इन्होंने basically consult किया for example TTDC जो आप लोग courier करते हो Wakefit जो कि अभी healthcare में काफी अच्छा brand है और कुछ कुछ international brand जैसे कि Parts Kick e-learning industry के अंदर में और आठ साल के लगभग के अंदर अंदर में इनको आठ से थोड़ा सा ऊपर इनको experience है digital marketing field के ऊपर तो हर्षित का अपना you know that अपना wisdom है वर्षा हर्षित का अपनी journey है हर्षित का अपना learning है और हर्षित हमें आज बताने वाले हैं कि कैसे स्मॉल बिजनेस के को लेके हम लोग एस करेंगे उसके बारे में हर्षित बताने वाले हैं हर्षित हमारे पास में बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं यहाँ पे हैं जो ऑलरेडी बिजनेस रन करते हैं या कहीं पे जॉब कर रहे हैं वो सब के सब हैं और एंड ऑफ दिस्ट जब सेशन होगा तो आपको मैं सबको मेल कर दूंगा रैंक वॉच का छह महीने का हर्षित हमारे साथ पार्टनरशिप है तो यू नो दट सिक्स मंथ का आपको एक प्रीमियम अकाउंट मिलेगा ट्वेंटी नाइन डॉलर के एक मंथ का पड़ता है छह महीने का वन सेवेंटी फोर डॉलर के लगभग में होता है तो वो मैं आप लोगों को मेल कर दूंगा सेशन के एंड में जितने भी लोग होंगे उन सब तो हर्षित स्टेज इज ऑल योर्स थैंक्स फॉर योर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टूडेज सो लेट मी जस्ट प्रेजेंट माई स्क्रीन Right. Let me know if it is visible to all. Yeah, your screen is visible. Perfect. Let me go to the presentation. So today's topic is basically small business SEO, uh, and we'll be talking about you know some of the step by step process that you can follow when you're just getting started. So the first and the foremost thing, like primary tool that we'll be using for this purpose, will be RankWatch, which is just like Abhav mentioned. Uh, it's a 360 degree SEO tool, AI powered. so it helps you like it has got every core module in it to help you with your entire seo workflow and by that i mean it has got its uh, really advanced rank tracking solution then you have your competitor analysis your site auditor your backlink analysis again like you know it's very extensive way to accurate it will also guide you through uh, hidden opportunities low hanging pages low hanging keywords and then the last and the final most thing is it's completely white label so say for example if you're running an agency and you want to automate your as your reporting you can do all of those stuff and even like you know if a brand is using it they can use their own logo and report to the senior management on timely uh, seo progress that you guys are making so uh, it's a complete solution now coming to the first step you know whenever you're getting started you have a website ready and the first and the foremost thing that you do is making sure that your website is free of errors it is way to seo friendly now you must be aware of search console it also points to a lot of issues that you know you can prioritize and work on but rank watch uh, seo auditor tool basically analyzes more than 110 parameters and then gives you a comprehensive seo report so you know it helps you save a lot of time Uh, you can automate this process site auditing is like most of the people what they do is like they don't do it on timely basis but when you're making changes on your website say you run a informative site of maybe few pages say 10 page or 15 pages you don't make make those frequent changes on the site so in those scenarios maybe a monthly audit would make sense to you but uh, you know when you're working on multiple pages site with a lot of engines running you keep on uh, frequently posting new content out or keep on optimizing existing pages in those scenarios i would definitely recommend going for weekly audit so that you know whenever any issue occurs you are always on top of it 
making sure that your site is always SEO friendly. So that's there and you also get a bit of guidance on the kind of issues that your site has. So something like this it looks um, and I've just ran a random site audit on this particular website. It is running decent. It will give you the complete bifurcation of HTTP your server codes. So all the pages having returning 200 code are basically good indexable, cacheable, all of that. All the, you know, it, it will guide you through whether there's a redirection overuse. All you need to do is look into these three XX errors here. And then, uh, you know, the four XX errors, which is like broken pages or five Xs, the page isn't working. So it will give you all of those as well. All you need to do is just click onto that particular issue. It will guide you through all the URLs that are getting impacted. Always try to keep a good score, like 80 plus all the time. So when you set like a crawl frequency, you always keep like a good watch. It will run automatically. It's an automated tool altogether. So you'll be always be on top of your technical health score altogether. And then, you know, there's a good issue bifurcation as well in here. All the factors which basically impact your SEO health to a lot of extent will be prioritized under high label. Then there's medium and then there's low. A lot of common issues you'll find uh, like you know broken links or broken pages your thin pages duplicate content right so they make like a really big impact on your SEO health so you want to make sure that those are resolved first so you can prioritize that and uh, apart from that then page depth again is a very big ranking factor right uh, you want to make sure that uh, the number of clicks that it takes from reaching from the first page any of your website page from the home page that number of clicks aren't too much because that then indicates Google as well like how important that page is if it is like deep down under the hierarchy of your website then Google doesn't give it that much importance so if anything is important uh, you want to make sure that it's not far from your home page right and then yeah. Apart from that, you know, that the depth of page is very important because uh, apart from from the Google point of view, because you are running a small businesses. Yeah. So from the point of view of your product funnel, it is very important because later the more people click on to reach the, you know, that the reach the inter like the payment page, the more people will drop it. If it is less, then it is, it is very great for your business as well. Definitely, so, definitely. Your visitor journey right, so, like, you know, matters a lot as well. Uh, so, right, right. Right. So, so in your first class, all of them, in your first class, I have shared, a, you know, that a case study of, of Sasta Sundar, which is like now sold around uh, around 700 CR. So I showed you that how the product funnel of normal e-commerce was five step and how we made it two step, right? So you can, you can also do it and uh, it's very important that, uh, and what Google want, Google want that the more easier things for the user, the more ranking you will get as simple as that. And uh... I will... Yes. I will be adding some of the remarks as well. Please, uh, please Arbab, uh, would really love your wisdom here. And then your like last few updates, if you look into those, uh, you know, around core web vitals, again, like Google has been putting a lot of emphasis. And even from your visitor point of view, if your site pages takes a lot of time to load, your bounce rate increases to a hell lot of extent. Your card abandonment rate increases. So all of those negative impact is there on your website and it doesn't solve its core purpose of giving you business altogether so work on it like anything uh, you know which comes under like slow URL or medium URL so that needs to be sorted ideally I would recommend that keep the load time as less as possible less than two seconds so that is something that you should aim for then it will also identify all the non-indexable pages uh, one of the common mistake that people do is placing uh, you know canonical tag incorrectly it will help you identify all of those pages maybe you made a mistake in past and you want to rectify that you want uh, google to basically index those pages and rank those pages so have a look into these elements as well then your outbound links like again like you have to be careful of the links that you have on your site which is pointing to another site it might be spammy and that might in return harm your SEO instead of improving it. So in those scenarios, you might want to basically remove those links or you might want to put a no follow tag to it. 
right? So all of those things. So like overall, just aim for having as high mark, you know, score as possible from your end and try maintaining that. So that's the key. Then going to the second point, the second step is, you know, finding the right keyword for your business. In here, you have to also look into the site structure you want to have basically. And, um, you know, for this, one of the good thing is like, you know, you can study your competitor site as well. We're doing really well. So landscape altogether, generating good organic traffic, all of those things and then plan it. Or you can look into your main business category and try forming like a really good pyramid structure. Now it has got a lot of benefits around it. Like, you know, you, when you follow that, you end up building a really good uh, topical relevance. You end up building really good site structure, better link mileage as well, because when you do internal linking, when you have the structure ready in front of you, that's much better. Arbab, I would like to take your opinion. I personally prefer for internal linking a good reverse silo as well as like, you know, going beyond it and doing some random logical link, internal linking as well to my main money making pages, which might not uh, organically get backlink so that, you know, that link juice is distributed very evenly across and uh, as well as my money making pages get most uh, link juice out of this strategy altogether so, yeah so no, basically the internal link is very underrated in seo so yeah. people think that uh, links work as a vouch and works as a board system and all those things outbound link have a more value but at the same time each page has a google have page rank right yeah. google, google have page rank and uh, in the, that page rank there was an algorithm in google which google uh, of course is crap that is called share rank mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know about share rank the share rank is about the distribution of uh, internal link. So, if you want C H P I R A N K rank, that is that is the share rank. Right? So, just like the page rank was about outside of the link, share rank was about internal links. So, internal links is uh, very powerful, especially if you go to let's say if you go to Amazon. So, yeah. let's uh, let's open Amazon. Uh, you know that search it. Sure. Let me show you something. Amazon. Amazon.in and go to let's say go to uh, some of the categories, let's say go to the book, book category. Okay. Right. All category and there will be a book category. Let me show you that how Amazon does. You do not need to sign in. Go to, huh? just there will be a book category. Uh, I remember the book category, that's why I told you. Okay. It says audible uh, audio. No, no, no. no. Not this one that that do not want they do not want to rank that mm-hmm. that they want to rank uh, book category below below not the digital content for the shop or department okay. uh, show all go for the book uh, the light that's that this book and all book all books okay. go to the bottom of the page so they know that we teach in our institute that a category can be optimized and go to the bottom 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 one is absolutely bottom and you will find there is a content a 500 or 600 word content is there right so this is why this is a small i already told you this is a small because they wanted to that that is for bot that is not for the user that's why it's not above the fold it is below the fold that's why it is very small so it, it does not significant though so they write it for bot but at the same time they have given two or three you know the, the backlinks to internal pages and that backlinks is around shop online and buy online. So shop online and that goes to the home page. Home page is like home page optimized for generic keyword buy online and shop online. So this page, which is book page, right, or any other page, they, uh, there are may more category page. They have given this kind of backlink onto, onto that specific uh, keyword, right? So this page are actually they have their own PR value, page rank value, and the home page have their own page rank value. So they actually shift. The, their you know the PR value page rank value to home page as well but on that keyword just like the external link right but the watching from the external link is more powerful than internal links so okay. internal links like half powerful or maybe 60 percent powerful so mm-hmm. people do not know but it is also share rank also they scrapped it but their basis of internal link on based on that calculation on that so it works and uh, if you know that internal if internal linking is uh, 
like a lot of tools are there for internal leaking, but they are not very effective. That's true. So, right. So if, if if you know that your internal leaking, apart only from the on page, I often say that only from the on page you can rank, right? So yes. these are the small things you can do. Yep. yep. I also like one good use case, say for example, like you have a site around best diet, you know, your main money making page might be these supplement because you'll be listing products in here, right? It won't have natural tendency to get backlink. So how do you increase the page authority altogether of this money making page? Yeah. So you do the internal yeah. linking, maybe like, you know, all these long tail keywords where you're talking about a very niche topic, uh, they'll get a backlink easily. But then how you basically pass that link use to your money making page through internal link. So that's the only key there. So yeah, so then you'll have to figure out your main business categories and then build more onto it. So for that, again, like for your keyword research, you can use one of the very good keyword research tool we offer. So in here, I've just put down best diet, right? And RankWatch has basically given me hell lot of results, more than 4K. Then it's also segmented, grouped on the basis of uh, the questions as well that you can target. One of the good strategies now, and Arbab, I would like to have your opinion. When I do this is, I like, because you know, when you work for agency or even for a company, right? Uh, everyone wants a quick ROI from your SEO effort. And uh, one good way to basically deliver good ROI quickly is targeting bottom of the funnel keywords which have like much more transactional intent all together and uh, you know they usually have less search volume but the conversion rate on those uh, like when you get the traffic from those specific uh, keywords is much higher because there's a buyer intent all together so i'll give you an example what is seo that's an informational intent content right but when someone is searching seo packages for a small business so that's, you know, that's a bottom of funnel and basically a transactional intent keyword altogether. So keep that strategy in mind when you're building it. Definitely like if it's your own business, you want to have as much as possible. You look into like both long term as well as your short term keyword strategy. But when you're working, you're always in rush. Your hunger to deliver good result is always there. Plus that is what is you know, expected out of you. So. In those scenarios, bottom of the funnel strategy works really well. Right. What are your thoughts around it? Bottom of the funnel keywords mainly. Yeah, uh, yeah that's yeah. long tail keyword you're asking about, right? Yeah, long so, tail transactional keywords mainly. Yeah, long tail transactional keyword it works, and the the way you say that na, ki, that uh, there is you know that uh, there is there is something called ROI because at yeah. the end of the day uh, you are a business and you will see the ROI return on investment, right? Yeah. But at the same time, SEO take more time to return ROI than, you know, that the advertisement and SEO return more time, like arrive ROI for the more time. Like yeah. it's not like advertisement. Advertisement is quick ROI, short time. Yeah. But uh, SEO is, it will take long time, but it will again give you a longer time period of time of uh, ROI. Yeah. So first of all, you need to, as a uh, business owner, you need to understand that uh, it will, it is a process. It will take some time. And the second thing, I always tell all of you, all of my students that think beyond the clicks, right? It means that think if your user comes to your website, then how your content is going to convince them. If you do not think about it and you do SEO, SEO is worthless. SEO does not like, SEO is not about only about the traffic it's not only about. वो कन्वर्जन का वैल्यू भी होता है वो चाहे आपका कन्वर्जन का वैल्यू आपके स्टोर से कुछ खरीद के हो या आप कोई ब्लॉग में एफिलिएट प्रोडक्ट डाल रहे हो सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोडक्ट में कन्विंस होकर खरीदना है यू नीड टू थिंक अराउंड दैट कि एक स्ट्रेटजी होनी चाहिए उसके बाद यूजर क्या करेगा उसके बाद यूजर को कैसे हुक करें तो वो थॉट प्रोसेस यू नीड टू कम विद दैट थॉट प्रोसेस राइट सो दैट दैट थॉट प्रोसेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव इन योर माइंड राइट सो उसके ऊपर मैं आपको काम करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि ऐसे बार वही का सीन ये ना दोस्त कि मैं अभी काम कर रहा हूँ एक बिजनेस के साथ में काम कर रहा हूँ और आज 25वां दिन है एंड ये 25वें दिन में उस बिजनेस ने अराउंड 60 लाख के लगभग का सेल क्रॉस किया है और उस 60 लाख में 50 लाख जो है सेव्स हैं राइट लेकिन जब उनका शुरुआत होता ऐसा नहीं था शुरुआत में उनका अगर मान लेते हैं शुरुआत होता 10 लाख के स्टार्ट होता तो 
एक लाख का एस का उनका रिटर्न होता है नौ लाख उनका पेड एड से आता था तो मतलब क्या तुम परसेंटेज जोड़ो तो नाइन्टी और टेन परसेंट आर भी उल्टा हो गया नाइन्टी परसेंट एस से आता है टेन परसेंट इसका यहाँ से आता है राइट तो वो बेसिकली वो बेसिकली टाइम लेके शेप करता है तो शुरुआत में जब भी आप बिजनेस चालू करते अच्छा एक और रोग है लोगों में वो रोग है ना कि अगर हम सिर्फ पेड मार्केटिंग करके अपना बिजनेस पूरा कर लेंगे हम सिर्फ एस सी ओ करके अपना बिजनेस पूरा कर लेंगे नहीं कर पाओगे भाई मेरे वॉट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एस सी ओ इज ऑल्सो एक्विजेशन चैनल एस सी ओ इज ऑल्सो एक्विजेशन चैनल यू नीड टू स्टार्ट विद क्विक विंस बट एट द सेम टाइम लॉन्गर गेम राइट नाउ दिस क्विक विन लाइक वट एवर मनी यू आर स्पेंडिंग इट शुड बी रेड्यूज लाइक पीपल दैट सेवेंटी थर्टी एंड वाइस वर्सा वॉट इज सेवेंटी थर्टी इट मीन दैट 70% paid ads 30% seo revenue generation maybe 90% paid ads 10% seo revenue generation but over the period of time like 5 6 months it will be reverse right we need to think around that otherwise you know that khali paisa lagate gaye aur tumko roi jab tak tumko 8x roi return nahi milega kam se kam 8 guna roi nahi milta tumko marketing ka ya at least 6 guna nahi milta you are not going to survive in the market that's true I think uh, about nowadays it's a key. Like you know, you have to leverage uh, omni-channel approach. Uh, you can't just be confined uh, towards just one channel. Uh, I mean, you, it will just result into sabotaging, uh, you know, your own growth altogether. So yeah, I mean, think broad. Uh, you know, not just limit yourself to uh, SEO. Like if you look into today's search landscape for a lot of keywords uh, and for a lot of money-making keywords around business. will always find ads and taking up lot of position the number of uh, blue links have been reduced uh, but so that's the reason like just like abab said you have to couple both the strategies together and get most exposure for your brand for your business right so that's the key now right yeah let's move back to our uh, you know core topic like for keyword research the other thing that you can look into is uh, do domain research uh, try to find keyword gap as well you can look into your own set of keywords for which you are ranking you can use rank watch for that or basically put on your competitor site in here and try to figure out the keywords that they are targeting so that will help you build the pool of keyword that you finally wish to chase right even you can leverage your search console as well so that will also give you good list of queries which which is actually generating traffic for you right now right. so so, yeah. so one thing one thing about rank watch i like it ki i i thought them to have like uh, keyword research that uh, they find seed keyword then up, uh, then populate more keyword and according to that they they do a manual serp analysis Yeah. Using DA, right? So, for example, I I told them that 40 DA about uh, you know that below 40 DA, whatever site that is uh, approved, that is replaceable uh, from your rank, and above that, it is a little bit hard for new website, uh, which uh, I have been seen into you know that my career as well. So basically, they know about it, and in this rank watch, if you put a keyword, you will get the difficulty score, and that is a uh, pretty accurate. I have seen those uh, queries into that, yeah. so you can also get the you know. so you can also get the difficulty directly in rank yeah that is that is one of the thing i like about it the second thing i like about it you can track your keywords like each week you can track your keywords it is it is increasing or not decreasing or not or they have a lot of search engine like the google and other search engine as well right yeah, yeah. so you can you can track those as well this is more or less all about the keyword research and basically finalizing on to that the spy on competitors focus more on to bottom of the funnel keywords transactional keywords i'm sure like you already are aware of the keyword qualifiers that will help you finalize on to the keywords so your current position your difficulty just like abab mentioned search volume relevancy to your business and then that definitely the search intent is it informational is it transactional is it navigational all of those things help you decide like what exactly you want to chase and once you you are done with that once you have basically finalized a set of keyword you want to target that is when you basically put all of those keywords on a rank tracker so rank watch offers just like i mentioned like you can put down uh, you can go as hyper local as possible in here it has got integration with uh, uh, you know you can do tracking on all major search engine you can do it on the basis of desktop on the basis of mobile and all major locations in here and go as hyper local as possible so if a local business operating just in delhi might want to track its ranking 
विदर इन डेली इट्स So it will give you like a complete data, your share of voice, which is the traffic that you're generating from those specific targeted keywords, the value of it, the percentage of it and its trend, right? And, uh, you know, you'll have basically bifurcation, how many keywords are on top three position on Google organically, then uh, four to 10, all of those things are in there. And uh, even you'll be able to track SERP snippet, which is again, like important, uh, you know, don't limit yourself just to optimize for the blue link, the blue link position. Now, a lot of SERP features are coming into play. If you you are maybe like optimizing a site for a marriage hall, in th- those scenarios, the kind of snippet that rank will be different. GMB might rank, uh, Google My Business pack will come up and stuff like that, right? So, uh, and hotel pack, whatnot, right? So, you, you want to be ready for that. You want to optimize your website, your web pages to rank for those snippets as well. If you don't do that, you're missing out on a lot of opportunity because those snippets do tend to come up above the blue links most of, in most of the cases, right? And uh, basically putting your website in there will give you a lot of benefit, lot of exposure, right? And more traffic on your site. So that's a good way to basically optimize your web pages for. And uh, you can put down the packs as well. Like you specifically your uh, Google My Business rank or page rank for specific keywords as well. So you can set that as well separately if you're working on a local business. Right. Uh, we're also coming up like once you kind of finalize onto the keyword, you put down it under tracking. Definitely like mapping is again like rank watch will definitely give you the URL ranking for a specific keyword within minutes uh, as soon as you put it up uh, those keywords under tracking. But again, like you might want to map it uh, you know, for on your end as well. Uh, maybe, you know, your ranking URL is not like, uh, you know, for a specific keyword is not something which is much relevant and maybe like a different page of your website is much more relevant for that specific keyword. So you want to optimize further those pages. Basically, that's the reason like mapping is something which is extremely crucial and important. We are building a platform where you just need to enter the seed keyword and uh, put down some of your competitors it will be launched very soon and it will give you like proper clustering you know your page any page on your website will not be optimized for one single keyword right you might want to target multiple keywords ranking for on that specific url altogether even on search console for a specific target url if you check you'll, you'll find many queries that are driving traffic and that particular target page is visible for multiple queries on serve. So this will help you basically automate the mapping part, which is right now actually a very time consuming thing for SEO professionals across globe. So we're trying to automate this particular thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully it, it will be launched very soon. For now, you can rely on to an Excel file altogether and do mapping properly. Also, like, uh, you know, apart from keyword search volume, difficulty, your current rank and your desired targeted URL for that specific keyword, also add tags to it. And I'll give you the good benefit uh, about tags at a later stage as well. I'll just demonstrate one good example of how you can find two competitors on the basis of your clustering altogether. And that's important. Plus, when you do the mapping and at a later stage, uh, you know, on RankWatch itself, you'll be able to flag major issues like uh, keyword cannibalization, where maybe like Google search engine is getting confused to rank and it's basically interchanging ranking or two or more URLs are ranking for a specific keyword competing against each other and diminishing the authority of each other on serve. So, though, and that's a very critical issue. So, all of those things again, like you'll be able to figure out. So, that's the reason, like, you know, mapping is extremely important. So, do invest time into that. And it will also help you, like, you know, when you do internal linking, all of those things as well. And if you have, like, proper Excel file in front of you, you'll be able to easily interlink and basically strategize the interlinking altogether quite easily. So, that's another benefit. Right. Right. And uh, once you have, you have done like mapping, 
then comes your on page optimization part now for on page optimization we have a very good module let me show you the seo iq seo iq is good yeah so what seo iq guys does is like you know you enter a keyword your main primary keyword for a specific targeted url of your site right and basically put down any location you can go hyper local in here as well city level and what not and then a cumulative score is given post analyzing the top 10 results for that specific keyword in your defined location right and comparing your targeted url with those right so 40 plus on page parameters are analyzed in here you'll get hold of each and every on page element uh, that you can think of in here you know the keyword is missing on uh, your heading tags uh, and uh, you know your meta title all your meta tags basically your url broad keywords in here right even all text how many words do you need you know if you click on to the details it will also give you the suggestions uh, basically like on what basis it is giving you this recommendation that you need to basically add more content on your particular targeted page so you can basically figure out top pages uh, have uh, like word count that they have got and basically build on to your content as well right and uh, one really good feature it will give you page elements open graph present on your page not again like a very critical thing for your social and all then your page speed again a big ranking factor and then your serp snippet featured snippet so it will give you even the details of schema those top 10 pages have and most in most of the cases what happens is that say there is a question and answer snippet so feature basically ranking on top position and google picks those question and answers from the top 10 pages mainly in most of the scenarios from the 10 pages ranking right so you know then right you know what kind of schemas even on a page level you wish to build and uh, go for so that's there and then really get good extensive list of the lsi report as well right the phrases whatever you need to include on your content piece and the frequency of it now unlike other main frame marketing tools out there surfer seo and there are a lot more now on page optimizer pro tons of them so in here you won't find those you know garbage recommendation where you know they also include prepositions and the frequency of those so they go like really elemental level and basically throw tons of unnecessary information in here you'll find all the relevant recommendation and a very refined lsi report so which helps your content team also save a lot of hours so that's there and now like this is a very scientific approach right uh, when you take this approach what you're trying to achieve is your building a superior quality content you are building a superior quality on page experience for your visitors as well right because it has page element it has uh, all of the speed elements in there so when you have the superior content then you know your chances of ranking higher on google increases drastically so yeah i mean do utilize this and it can be done on both the scenarios if you have a existing page go with it enter that targeted url just in case if you do not have a existing page and you're planning a new you know building a new outline all together in those scenarios what you can do is you can put any one of the ranking pages in here then also like even though the seo iq score won't be relevant for you but all these elements like you know where you have to include the keyword within the certain element of your new page all together you'll find those recommendations you'll find the lsi right so still works both ways for you lsi keyword is very underrated uh, main you know that uh, you can check out uh, tons of keyword traffic from lsi i was working with uh, you know that poi moi mm-hmm. so poi moi uh, traffic was around uh, 7 million or 8 million per month when i was started right now they have like uh, recently uh, alok kejriwal messaged me and he told me that uh, they are getting good traffic around 1 million per day so about from the 7 8 million to they are getting around uh, you know the 30 million per month and all as you they do not run advertisement so all as you are perfect right so they are they are they are getting that traffic so in that the lsi keyword plays a very huge role for example they have a one single keyword called bollywood news they are ranking on fourth or fifth uh, position and that keyword have around 1 million searches and uh, 
from that single keyword they are getting around uh, you know the uh, 40000 clicks from that single and uh, the keyword around them like bollywood news bollywood uh, samachar and all those keywords they are also getting the traffic from that because they these are the entertainment news bollywood entertainment news these all keywords they are getting traffic and uh, uh, it will be around like 2 3 lakh traffic they are getting from those lsi keywords and uh, combinedly the those keywords so lsi keyword is underrated yep. uh, even with the next big brand we are working with next big brand we have optimized a, an article on amul case study if you search amul case study first result will be around from next big brand okay. but if you search amul history we are also ranking on top 10 we haven't optimized for that but since it's a since it's a case study and it's a history it's a lsi keyword they rank mm-hmm. so lsi keyword is like uh, very important but at the same time if you put that lsi keyword into your content not necessarily in the title or meta description but in the content it will help even more to rank uh, higher so if you know those like what are the lsi keywords there and then you can put it down uh, as a you know the part of the content that would be great for you to get again extra some extra traffic uh, without doing anything that's true that's true and uh, basically like uh, then the second thing that comes uh, right uh, and you can do seo iq you can plan content then on the basis of the recommendation that it is throwing at you but uh, one of the biggest question that comes is like how do you prioritize the, that particular activity so i would recommend going for low hanging pages and basically low hanging keywords so that should be your approach page and by low hanging fruits i mean pages and uh, uh, which are basically ranking you know on the second page of google so something between 11 to 20 that is what you should aim for you can use rank watch like because anyways all your keywords are under tracking in here so you can use the advanced filtering option which is again like a multi stage thing and uh, basically figure it out plus the ai also guides you through those particular areas like low hanging pages all you need to do is just click and that filter will get applied you'll be able to easily identify those pages and start working on it as your iq is integrated in this module very well i haven't seen that okay so i think you'll have to go to the table setting and uh, about this click in here so just click over here and apply so it will get applied on the keyword level matrix and then keep on basically that's amazing yeah so it's all integrated like a lot of modules uh, you can connect your search console and your analytics in here right and when you're running and i mean just getting started with it you might want to prioritize on the basis of low hanging fruit but once you're done definitely like you know your other important key matrix like pages which are getting high impression and you want to improve their rankings first uh, to get most benefit you, your priorities change right as you grow so yeah i mean it's all integrated in here you can even your backlink off page strategy is also integrated in here you'll be able to see uh, you know the anchors and uh, if you want to do do it page level you'll be able to do it from here so all your ranking pages can be spotted in here and the same level of metrics integrated with traffic integrated with off page and on page factor all together so like it's a very interactive and informative dashboard right right and for generating content like i've been experimenting I, and abhi i would like to kind of know your thoughts around it as well so i've been playing around with a lot of ai content generation tool to scale the content frequency all together and you can use tools like typely conversion ai is one of the very popular tool to generate content and in those scenarios your seo iq all the recommendation that it gives becomes your seed feed for so yeah so i cannot tell you about the content generated by ai yeah. because i am not uh, till now i am not really a fan of uh, generated content generated by ai mm-hmm. because what i believe that uh, content market of first put themselves in the shoe of the users and then they write content so yeah. still for the you know that for the main content the money content which you say i i would say that do not generate from ai but side content like say whatever we want to build for backlinks and all those things that bypass the word limit and all those things we can we can use it so yeah. my thought around that because i have i do not have that much of experience and you know that yeah. if you do not have that much experience you put yourself into the shell and you are very protective of your ideas as well right yeah, so that's true. 
So that's me. I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. So I've been like based on my observation so far. Definitely, like AI content generation tools have improved a lot over these years. But the only struggle that I see with it is like you still need a human eye. You need an editor to kind of like go through, check, scan through the quality of the content that AI generates. Definitely shrinks down your time. Uh, so that's the reason I'm saying that it generates content quickly and in scale. But then again, like you know, it's good for informational intent keyword content pieces altogether. But when you have bottom of the funnel approach, you'll struggle a lot using AI and generating that content piece because when you basically build content for that bottom of the funnel, you need to have a lot of expertise. Like just one small topic that we mentioned, keyword cannibalization. You know, it's a very niche as your topic. It's not broad, right? It's a very niche, very specific issue that marketers face, hampering their SEO growth. And to write content around it needs a really skillful writer who understands the concept well. So for those kind of things, definitely you will struggle. For broad content, general content, you won't. So you can basically leverage AI, kind of generate content for that. Right. Good. Now you have worked on the on-page part, but uh, one of the biggest ranking factor is still your backlinks. And uh, there are multiple ways to build backlink. I won't go into details and the strategies around it, but one of the good things to basically enhance your analysis is figuring out true competitor that I mentioned. Why you have to cluster your keyword in the slides above. Now uh, let's look into it uh, in action. So PathGeek, uh, like just I mentioned, uh, you know, this is one of the US based uh, e-commerce site, which is into automobile parts. It's one of the biggest brand in automobile industry in US gets like, you know, tons of traffic. I've just put down few keywords. So the share of voice is low here, but they do get like traffic and their sale value is in millions and uh, just a general thing i've categorized uh, some keywords around bmw parts if you look into the site right so they have like a lot of categories in here they sell on the basis of the kind of the part they sell it on the basis of the brand the make and whatnot so a lot of categories and when i look into its competitors let me show you All right so out of the four, uh, sorry, roughly 5k keywords that I've added in here, the competitors are so diverse, right? Amazon, YouTube, eBay, and then AutoZone and Advanced Auto Parts, right? Now, if you look into these broad competitors, eBay, YouTube, Amazon, it's not really like true competitor, even though keyword overlap that they have with what Part Geek is actually targeting is there. But again, like, you know, these are marketplace like eBay and Amazon specifically, and it's not a true competitor. And if I go ahead and say, you know, I'm forming my backlink strategy and I end up comparing myself with Amazon, PathGeek might go bankrupt uh, just to kind of like match the number of backlinks uh, and referring domains that Amazon has got or eBay has got. To be honest, like PathGeek is seller on eBay and Amazon. So not really my true competitor. Okay. So. What I did was like, I did just one cluster. So I basically allocated a tag BMW to some of the keywords around that intent altogether, like online BMW parts and uh, stuff like that. And uh, group them together from that cluster. And now when I go ahead and compare, let's do a tag comparison. I'm sorry, I think I misspelled BMW here, but it still solve the purpose, right? So now you see like competitors actually changed. And these are the ones like which are ranking really high. Like if I go ahead and compare them, let me do this. And uh, go to much more keyword level data. Right. So this will give me like much better insight, kind of, uh, you know, the snippet that Parthik is actually ranking for all of those stuff, right? So this is a much better approach 
and uh, the competitors for that specific category like shop bmw usa i'll basically study the kind of backlinks the kind of on page strategies the kind of serp snippets that these are targeting right and uh, basically formulate my seo strategy around bmw category compared to these guys not amazon or ebay so this will be like much more accurate approach and uh, will give me much better results than going broad and comparing yourself right. with the giants uh, you know marketplace altogether right and uh, definitely like do do so surf feature you know that surf feature are like a special kind of listing like for example feature snippet is an under surf uh, you know that uh, surf feature and uh, yeah. not all of them will get the surf feature yeah so this is a ad snippet ad surf feature this is a hotel pack so it's a different kind of surf. local pack look. yeah local pack is there. and then there will be come faq with that faq yeah. so you see now there there is a the blue links these faq identification of this faq and all those things that that can be done by this tool. for example if you search this amul history so you can see there is a feature snippet this is yeah. a feature snippet that is also a sub feature now you can identify ki which keyword is like you your sole bar into feature snippet which your competitor feature snippet that kind of this thing yeah all the keyword generated feature snippet so you can identify this easily so again like you can leverage rank watch for it and uh, figure these things out as well easily in here it's present right on your dashboard and uh, even on the keyword level as well so like wherever you see like the green mark those are the keywords for which you're ranking and the blue is actually where you're not ranking but your competitors are so you can leverage those things devise your strategy around it and uh, try to get your website to rank on those right yeah and then one of the good things that again like you can do always keep a close eye on the reviews what your customers are talking about you even though you are a new business and uh, you know just to increase the conversion on new businesses it's a lot more tricky than established brand people do tend to uh, you know before making a purchase or a buying decision on your site will always and always uh, you know rely on to the reviews people what people are talking about you online altogether so for that purpose again like you can use one of the tools it's called uh, web signals which is again like extremely powerful and uh, even for your seo purposes as well you'll be able to figure out like all the unlinked mentions the leads all the questions all you need to do is just add your branded keyword in there and brand by brand keyword i mean your business name and some keywords around your uh, main money making seed keyword so that will help you identify a lot of opportunities like you know just to kind of like understand your target audience or get ideas for content like you know it will bifurcate question for those money making keywords for you so you get more content ideas and keep on uh, basically increasing your topical relevance which is extremely crucial uh, you know for your long term seo goal to rank better so all of those strategies can then be integrated with this tool as well plus just understand what i mean if, if there is any pain point of your customers for all of those things uh, studying the market you'll be able to leverage it using web signals so that is again like one of the strong things that you need to do study serp landscape a lot uh, a lot of money making keywords that you might be targeting and for those keywords like i'll give you one example in so for the money making keyword maybe a pr site is ranking on top or some other affiliate site might be ranking for a product really high and uh, best online targets yeah so it's a ad snippet ad snippet and uh, then basically a listing site altogether could be a pr site it could be affiliate site you know this looks more or less like a pr site as a gate right and for a psychic business that's that's the most money making keyword you know any psychic would want to basically rank on the top most position right so you know leverage like online pr might be a good channel for you to basically build an article and then try to boost that article as well through your off page strategy even though it's not on your site but you'll get ton of benefit uh, and a lot of referral traffic right to your own site so why not take that approach uh, digital pr is again like getting a, a really big thing it also impacts your seo a lot so work on that and have that 
omni-channel approach, just like Arbab mentioned. Don't, don't just limit yourself to just PPC. Even social signals play a really big role. I used to run a blog, Arbab. When I just started working, came out of college and uh, grew this blog. It was a women-centric blog. And uh, I wasn't really strong back then in uh, SEO, but uh, social was my, like, you know, social promotion was my real forte back then. And what I used to do is, like, I had few people whose job was just to promote the new articles that uh, the content team was generating and push it out on all the open groups on Facebook. It was around relationship, uh, dating, really women-centric blog. And... Uh, my main money model was uh, generating the generating revenue from Google AdSense altogether. So uh, that was the thing. And they used to do like crazy promotions on social, promoting it on open groups, maybe 800, 1200 groups in a day. We were literally spamming. And with that strategy, it boosted my SEO to such a level that uh, I think in 9 to 10 months, we were able to hit close to a million US traffic and uh, almost 80% of it was uh, organic altogether. Even though we were promoting heavily on social, but the result that it was basically getting, you know, in return was because of so much sheer, really high traffic coming from social media to our website, people engaging with it, spending a lot of time. It started to rank on like really generic keyword as well. Since it was a blog, to be honest, uh, you know, even the general traffic didn't do harm. It was doing good. Like the more the traffic, the more revenue I was generating through Google AdSense. So that made sense. But yeah, I mean, always keep open other channels as well and how you can complement your SEO objective with that different channel and give the most exposure to your brand. So that's the key. Arbab, over to you. So thank you very much for uh, this amazing session. And I hope other people like it. So if you like it, please like it. आप लोगों ने कुछ सीखा थोड़ा कमेंट कर दीजिए हमें भी पता चले हमें भी पता चले कि आप लोग अच्छा लगा है और आप लोग अटेंटिव है और दूसरी बात रही कि मैंने एक मेल शेड्यूल कर दिया जो आप लोगों को अराउंड 10 बजे के लगभग मिल जाएगा जिन्होंने भी रजिस्टर किया है इसके लिए तो उनको यू नो उनको वो मेल मिल जाएगा और थोड़ा सा बताइए आप लोगों को कैसा लगा